Hey, so if you spend any amount of time on the internet, you've seen at least one person plunge themselves into some freezing cold water. Now, I don't know about you, but I start shivering just watching other people do it. As extreme as it looks, there's actually a growing body of research that suggests getting cold could have some desirable benefits for your overall metabolic health. Is it something you should be doing? Well, if you stick around a little bit longer, you might come up with an answer. Therapeutic cold exposure is nothing new. In fact, people have been trying out so-called hydrotherapy since the 1800s as a cure-all for a number of ailments. Today, we're mostly familiar with ice baths and cold packs as ways to recover from forms of athletic training. But exciting research has emerged showing that cold exposure could be beneficial beyond reducing inflammation and swelling after playing basketball for several hours. Here's the thing. Us warm-blooded creatures have different ways of staying warm when exposed to the cold. Insulation through subcutaneous fat or shivering are good examples that you've most likely benefited from at some point in your life, unless you've never been cold before. Beyond those two that I just mentioned, scientists have recently discovered that another component called non-shivering thermogenesis may play a big role in keeping our bodies warm with the help of brown adipose tissue, also known as brown fat. Brown fat helps small mammals maintain core body temperature during cold periods, especially during hibernation. While white fat serves to store energy and trap heat like a blanket, brown fat acts like a furnace, generating heat from within. When exposed to cold temperatures, the sympathetic nervous system gets stimulated, causing brown fat to activate and take up large amounts of free fatty acids and glucose from the bloodstream. It then uses those components to make heat within its cells with assistance from uncoupling protein 1, or UCP1. This protein basically changes what's going on in brown fat cells so that instead of mitochondria making chemical energy, they work to produce heat. Now, as beneficial as brown fat is, it's not as abundantly found in human adults as we'd like. As babies, we tend to have more brown fat because we lack the muscle mass to shiver ourselves into warmth. But as we age, we tend to shed a lot of that brown fat and science actually shows that some adults barely have any left at all. But just because you don't have any right now, doesn't mean you won't have any forever. Regular cold exposure can start hormonal reactions that actually cause brown fat cells to emerge in white fat. Just remember that brown fat only affects glucose levels when it's activated. So, does submerging yourself in a tub of ice really live up to the hype? Well, research has found that the presence of active brown fat is correlated with leaner body mass and lower glucose levels. On top of that, Studies also point to cold exposure's ability to significantly improve insulin sensitivity even in those with minimal brown fat. That being said, we still have a lot to figure out about this seemingly magical brown adipose tissue. There are plenty of questions about the best ways to identify it and how long we need to be cold before the brown fat gets activated. While scientists continue to dive into these details, maybe you should give cold exposure a try, either by gradually lowering your thermostat, regulating your temperature during sleep, or using cold water immersion. There's no easy way to know for sure if you're experiencing the benefits of activating brown fat, but research suggests that all three can be beneficial to your metabolic health. If you want to take a plunge into some of the interesting studies about cold exposure, be sure to check out the full length blog post linked in the description of this video. If implementing cold exposure into your routine is something you're considering, make sure that thermostat changes don't create a stressful environment in your home. That's definitely not ideal for improving your metabolic health. Thanks for watching and See you in the next video.